So, um, the when okay. So you know when you're on the gram, right? I'm I have records that I've put out in the industry. Lately, I hire companies like uh, man, Crowd Control is one. Mm -hmm. There's another company I hired. Uh, I forgot. Shout to Eric. There's a few. There's a few different companies that you can hire that make posts for you and comment for you. So <laughs> the funny thing is, I, and I want to give this story right. So me, little old me, I don't make a lot of money. It costs me two thousand a month, and I can hire a company to make comments in my post and I can also collab collab shout to collab for, I, for my music so they take my music videos they chop it up and they post it on different Instagrams that look like they don't they're not a, a company entity but they are <laughs> so I'm just giving you the reason why I'm giving you this is information is because you know for people who don't like me, I know you like to send those companies into my comments. And I just want to tell you something. When you do that, I know how scared you are. Mm -hmm. So it's not a very good chess play. When you send the comments, that means you're worried about what I might say. And you're worried about, is this guy's credibility going to make it like, you know. Uh, Shout to Tell him Blanco sent you white. What happened? That's uh, White telling Blanco since you chiming in. Oh, shout to him, shout to him. Now, now look, we're not doing an avalanche. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm, I'm just saying that too. I want you to understand, and I'm going to tell you something, another behind the scenes of the music business. The Drake-Meek battle, Drake hired all those companies for a lot of those comments. In the memes. I'm in the memes. I can hire a company, a meme company, of someone that I don't like. And I'm a small player for $2,000. So imagine when you're a billionaire, what you can do on the internet. Mm. I'm, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just letting you guys know that <sighs> it's the music business. Now, um... I want to see how far back I want to go. I want to go to, hmm, I talked about, I want to go to the NFL. Mm. Am I, is that the right place where I want to start? I want to start there. So, that's my opinion. Um, Jay-Z aligned himself with the NFL. I'm working my way up to the part, and this is just my little timeline. It was good, though. It was good. This is all a New York City. <laughs> Once again, from the greatest rapper and uh, businessman of all time, this was a great move. This move right here, legend. All right? So, hmm. Where was I at? The NFL. The too. NFL. So, Jay-Z does a deal with the NFL. Just my opinion. Um, <laughs> he says he's going to. I'm going to give you more behind the scenes. He calls every radio personality, not me. He didn't go on me. You know. Uh, <laughs> he calls every major morning show, every afternoon show, not Nessa. Mm -hmm. And. He tells it, New York City, I'm, I'm really going to give you this information and maybe things will stop happening because I'm exposing it. Mm. Maybe it'll stop. But um, he calls every radio personality behind the scenes and says, give him a few months. Mm. I lie to you not, New York. Because... Everybody went on the radio with the same narrative on both stations. Mm. Give him a few months. Some writers, too. 
the writers as well. Nothing wrong. Listen, this is business. And remember, New York City, this NFL deal is in no way a comparison to all the great and the good that he's done. I want to, this is just me giving my opinion. He has done ultra great things, city, nationally, employing people. Please, I want to keep that in mind because I feel the same way. I just want to give my opinion of this last couple months. Okay. So the NFL, NFL deal happens. Um, the, the, the press conference. Because right. I've never really given my opinion at a press conference. Angie Martinez was sitting there with the face that she didn't want to be there. That's number one. She looked a little hostage. Charlemagne asked questions that they cut out. That's number two. He was off camera. But yeah, it, 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 it got lost. Right? Yeah. Mm. Desiree was sitting in the background. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. And let me veer off topic for a minute, please. I know 6 9 was trying to put Desiree in the rat category. Listen, Desiree is a civilian. And we ain't not, we're not going to give this weird stories or try to insinuate someone's a rat. I don't use the word rat. She cooperated. A civilian can cooperate, everyone. We have to, like, let's really make what it is. 6 9 is a person who said he was from the street. And he was a gang gorilla, and he cooperated. There's a difference between him and a civilian cooperating. You know what? Let's let's make that a clear statement, okay? I already told you, New York. Please don't crime with me. Call me Funk Flex <laughs> Pharrell. I'm testifying, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm a civilian. Civilians can testify, bro. Let's just make a difference of what it is. So, so I am not on the rat, the snitch thing like everyone else is. That's the way I feel. That's the way I feel when it comes to a civilian. So back to the NFL. So I just acknowledged that she was in the background, uh -huh. right? Cool. There was key words that was said. Jay-Z said, we're past kneeling. Yeah. And he understands whatever. Mind you, New York, I'm just giving my opinion of the greatest rapper to me of all time and the greatest businessman of all time and the most influential person to me. I've been very much influenced in him, by him. But I, I just want to talk about this particular part because he's a very important person in in music, in, 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 in uh, influence. His influence. So where was I at? I was at the, the, the NFL. Where he let me down and he said we're past kneeling. We said we're past kneeling. Then, as we're past kneeling, we have a situation with George Floyd where there's a knee placed on someone's neck and they die. Right? Murdered, yes. Murdered. Trump, you know, he's a... Uh, he needs to look at the tape, right? Jay-Z sends an airplane, private jet for the lawyer. But there's something that is very noticeable, New York. And this may take me someplace else, and I'm going to try to just give it to you the best way I can. It all makes sense. First of all, my opinion he lines himself with the NFL, all of Trump's friends. Mm -hmm. He takes on the same stance as Trump and the kneeling. He disowns Colin. Mm -hmm. He cuts people off at that press conference. We're past kneeling. The George Floyd situation comes up. You and your team are church mouse. Right? Our vice president's name is? Now? Yes. Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris? Yes. And Joe Biden. Yes. Right? Is our president. Yes. Everyone on Rock Nation, every artist, 
don't say nothing, do not join in at all. And they have been very, very vocal with Obama, mm -hmm. Hillary, mm -hmm. concerts, mm -hmm. but you shut down on Joe Biden. And Kamala Harris, the first black woman VP. The first, and I think she's Asian. Is she? Um, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. She's, she's South mixed. Asian, or she's. Right. I just want to make sure. I'm not sure what her. The first, um, she's the first African American woman. Yes. Vice president. Yes. For some reason, Rock Nation didn't see that. Mm. It never came on their radar. They never posted about it. They never saw it. Mm. Joe Biden, the same vice president, when you went to the concerts mm. with Obama. Mm. The same guy. It's not a different guy. You met him before. It's not. His name's Joe. It's not Alan. It's Joe. It's the same Joe. Joe Biden. Right? Yeah. You don't see him. You go blind, right? There's no talk of anything in this whole period. Of course, I couldn't figure out why. Mm -hmm. You align yourself with the NFL. Right? Is that is that what's happening? That did happen. I think she's black and South Asian. Is that correct? I believe that is correct. Okay. Okay. So, it kind of makes sense when we see this, this pardon. I mean, it's my opinion, New York. Just my opinion, and I know no one's going to talk about it. It's just my opinion. And I will reiterate again. Jay-Z is my favorite rapper. He's my, he's the most influential businessman that I have seen, right? The part that I don't understand is, and people could say, oh, I don't understand the alliance with Trump. That's the part. Because when a pardon is involved, and once again, like I said, I don't think there's anything wrong with, with um, testifying. It was 25 years ago. Cooperating. Cooperating. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm like, but pay, follow me here, New York. Aligning with Trump, and this is just my opinion, Trump loves to shout to Proud Boys. Yep. Right? Yep. Stand down and stand by. Stand down and stand by. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to tell you something, New York, So, because I, I want to break it down because I don't want certain people to get offended. I get offended. People like the Proud Boys. Do your thing. Well, let me break that down for you a bit. People, bef I didn't even know the Proud Boys existed before Trump shouted it. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're off in their corner feeling the way they feel, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's a lot of other groups. And don't get it twisted. There's African-American groups that aren't nice to other groups of people. To white people, that's true. It's not. It's not one-sided. It's two-sided, three-sided, well, four-sided. But, but the Proud Boys are physical. They get violent. And I'm and I'm sure there's African Americans who get physical too. But there are African Americans in the Proud Boys, so, so that's why they think they're just. All of this is to say is, my president is not supposed to ignite, acknowledge, and shout people like that. Absolutely. My president is not supposed to support or give wiggle room to police brutality. Absolutely. There shouldn't be black and brown people getting hurt that the president doesn't step in, and I'm not a political guy, I'm just giving it to you from my eyes. That shouldn't be happening, and Jay-Z should not be aligning himself with people like that. Mm. I do not think that's right. Do not tell us you're for the people. Do not tell us to wait a couple months. And now, again, he's done a lot of positive. I'm just on this subject right here. You do all of this. You do not fool me, sir. You're not fooling me. You stood down. You made sure that you brought no attention 
to all the nasty things Trump was doing because you had my opinion Usually in a situation like that, there's money donated or you speak to somebody or you promise something for a pardon. It was everywhere that Trump was selling those pardons. Mm -hmm. They were for sale. Or, or you publicly campaigned for him to get the pardon. Like Snoop did say, hey, I'd really like for Harry O to get pardoned. Um, Snoop. I really appreciate it. Little Wayne came out for him publicly, even though he said it didn't I have anything to do you with know the what? pardon. I feel differently about Snoop because he kept his opinion right up until, and I don't know, right up until the pardon for his yeah, friend. Or right after he got actually out. That's when he was like, but he oh, got I appreciate out. it. Yeah. Okay, right? Little Wayne, um, Please, who never stood for nothing, right? He, he never stood for anything. We don't expect him to. And sometimes, I want to be fair to Little Wayne, sometimes I don't know if he has all the information on something. Well, he said he, don't, he doesn't see racism. He doesn't see race, And maybe he doesn't. I don't, want to, I don't want to shatter his opinion. And he was always for Trump. Yeah. yeah from the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kodak, I mean, he wants to get out of jail. I'm not saying I understand it, but, you know, I don't know what it's like to be behind bars. It's not good. And I'm going to keep it a thousand in referring to Desiree. I don't know what that's like to have that on my record. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like I don't know what that's like. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to speak for those people and say, oh, you should just do your time or you should did. Cool. The part I have a problem with is the Trump Jay-Z moving with him. What if Trump would have got elected? Well, you know what? I'm not. I, I, <laughs> who told me to stay off that subject? Shout to Nova. Nova didn't like that subject. It's it's after the Capitol incident. It is a scary thought. No, I mean, but if he would have had a second term, how do you 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 do business, <laughs> man? One eight hundred two two three ninety seven ninety seven, please. No cursing. Yeah, no cursing. Just business with Trump here. That's my problem. Just business with Trump. And what Trump supports. And um, please don't 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 take me wrong about my opinion of Trump. Um, and I know Ebro is very vocal about it. Mm -hmm. I do think Trump is a racist. I do. Mm. Gotta be honest. I mean, maybe more so in the last six months or the last year. I do think that I don't support what he supports. And I'm surprised that Jay-Z supported him. And you could try to separate it and say Rock Nation and, and this and that, but the way those pardons work, is you have to support what they're doing or there's a donation. I'm not saying that Jay-Z did that, but I just know that that's, that's how the thing works. Yeah, it is actually. That's how, am I wrong with that? No, that's, that's, that's true. That's facts. That's how that's, it works. That's, that is politics. And, I mean, I don't want to, because uh, I know there's a lot of hard... <laughs> <laughs> How can I say this, man? And there's a lot of street rappers over there. You know, just my opinion. There's a lot of rappers. Hove comes from being a street rapper. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people who are, of, of, are vocal about things. I just haven't heard any opinions. I just haven't heard nothing. Mm. And... I'm so confused. And please, one eight hundred two two three ninety seven nine seven. I want you to call me. I want you to give me your opinion. I want to know what you feel. I'm a little disappointed. Maybe I don't know all the facts. Mm. New York City. Maybe I don't know everything that happened. But I do know. 
I mean, when Kanye did this, it was crazy. <laughs> like, you know, who else? Ice Cube, they murdered. Mm. Yo, New York City, Ice Cube's not the same guy the way that internet chewed him up. <laughs> no.